name of Jesus. Lord God, we come to give you glory, to give you praise, and to give you honor. And we thank you, Lord God. Father, as I come right now, I'm asking Holy Spirit that you move in this house, that you would have your way. Move up and down the aisles. Touch every heart. Touch every family. Touch every life. Lord God, touch every individual that's watching, that's sitting in anticipation of what you're about to do and say through them and to them in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we thank you for healing, deliverance, and restoration. And we say amen. 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 That's a perfect place to give God to. by the New King James Version, Isaiah chapter number 61. I'm going to go ahead and begin at verse number 1. Would you mind standing for the reading of the word if you can? If you can, if you can, if you can. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Glory. And the word of the Lord God says, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prisons to those who are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to console those who mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes. The oil of joy for morning, a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they may be called the trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that may be glorified. May the Lord have a blessing to the readers, hearers, doers of his almighty word. And we said amen. 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 You may be seated. Thank you, Lord God. Oh, thank you, Lord. It just played out. It's all right because the enemy don't want to be. Listen, I'm over. Right, 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 right. That's right. not about a word right there. Thank you, Lord God. If you don't mind, please check it out. We'd love to have it. So it's not a strain in the name of Jesus. And in case you're taking any notes today, and I pray that you are, the word for today is recycle. Hallelujah. Recycle. In case you're wondering how to spell it, here it is right there. Recycle. All right. I told you, but up to something. Recycle. Okay. Hey, I know I'm almost home there. Yeah, 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 yeah. There is a reason why the Father has two of these things on the altar. Wow. Well, my, you, you're going to get it. You're going to understand it in a little while, but while you're writing it down and examine it, check it. We have a bin that's recycled, that says recycle, and we have a bin that doesn't say recycle. Am I right about it? Talk to the bin. Right. Can you get that? Are they seeing it? Can they see it? They got recycle there, and then just another waste basket. Well, the Lord God is calling for us today, people of God, that we must understand as we give God glory in this house, as we magnify his name, but the word for today is recycle. Uh, he's saying that because God is about to recycle some of us. I don't know about you, but God is in the recycling business. <laughs> Thank you, Lord God. In case you're wondering the title, the title for today's message is God's Recycling Plan. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Can you tell your neighbor God's Recycling Plan? Tell your neighbor it's like God's Recycling Plan. In case you didn't realize, God is in the recycling business. God loves to, but he calls for the rejects and the outcasts. And he knows how to recycle them and use them for his glory. Oh, I know I'm preaching already in the house. You must understand that God said that I've called you to be recycled. You see, now, a lot of times, you know, this, that the world is just catching, catching up with recycling. You know, we notice that we have a recycling bin and, and then you have a regular bin. Amen? And then, you know, and it takes an effort to recycle. Am I right about it? Amen. You know, nobody forces you, but it takes an effort for you to put that plastic in there, to put that cup or put that, uh, put that glass in there. But I want you to know, it's not hard for somebody to just throw it away. Am I right about it? Right. Am I right about it? Whenever things are going on and people have a tendency to just throw it away, am I right about it? Yeah. But look how daddy does it. Daddy says, wait a minute. You may not think they're good for you. You may not think they don't have an anointing. Let me tell you what I'm about to do. I'm about to recycle them. business. Yeah. People of God, God takes the old. He takes what's wasted and he really 
houses. Uh, some of you may not know, but we even recycle clothes. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, oh, wait a minute. Anytime you've ever donated your clothes somewhere and somebody else is wearing them, you just got recycled. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm on purpose in wearing some recycled boots. <laughs> somebody bless me when I say, Lord, right. I'm going to be a part of that. You see, what they couldn't wear, didn't want to wear, I'm going to work them. I'm going to work them out.
your act together yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Everything the devil, the devil. Sometimes the Lord God will use a circumstance to get yourself straight. Yeah. Come on. Hallelujah! The Damascus Road, because in Acts chapter number nine, we hear and many of us know the 
said, I got a plan for you. I'm, I'm trying to encourage somebody that's in this house. I'm trying to encourage somebody that's watching that you may think that, you know what, what bus to use? Why should I continue? I don't understand what's going on. And what God says, you know, because see, the apostle Paul, he was doing some wrong. He was killing the disciples. You thought you had it bad. If God can recycle, God recycled Noah. He was a drunkard. God recycled David. He was an adulterer. And God recycled of the apostle Paul. And he was a murderer. He said he was killing. So don't come tell me what God can do. If God can do it for a drunkard, for an adulterer, and for a murderer, what do you think he's going to do with children? Oh, come on, now look at me like I'm strange because you know some rascal individual. You weren't always a such a 
such before. You have been there before. We all had some secret faults. And the Lord God recycled you. So why can't you pray for somebody to recycle them? And the Lord God said, he said, because I have need of them. You need to understand that God is speaking to you in this house. He said, I have need of them, just like I need you. Maybe you are the one person that's doing the, that's doing the killing. Maybe you are the one that's not doing the things that are right. Maybe you are the one that's stumbling. And the Lord God is saying, get up from there. Because he said, I'm about to use you in ways you've never been seen before. Thank you, Lord God. You know what? Why? Because I know that whenever it's going to flow through you, people are going to know it's real. Yes. Jesus. Oh, no. 